Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising. A, a weekly tarot reading, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're going to jump right into it afterwards. All right, so um, the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the hangman, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be the two of uh, wands. Afterwards, uh, we do have the positive aspect of the week, uh, which is going to be the eight of swords. And then the final one, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Aquarius, this is going to be the three of cups. All right, so uh, that week is going to be a bit rough for you guys uh, for the reason being is that there will be a lot of doubt um, in yourself primarily, you know, that you can pull your things through in general. Uh, that is for the reason being is that you may face quite a bit of setbacks throughout the week. That is well described here by the hangman and the two of wands falling into a, a challenging position. It's it's very uh, heavy, I would say, energy even. It's because it does represent that you may lack clamor in your own capabilities, that you can fix the things, all right, or that you can expand, that you can grow in, 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 in this field. No different than, for, for example, if you have been hired on a particular job, you know, and you had your dreams and hopes or uh, run high or fly high or soar, or I don't know how to say it, you know, and when you start the job, you see that it actually isn't that way, you know, and you ain't gonna make that big progress as you have anticipated, or uh, you go there and you are instantly intimidated by coworkers and by the tasks that you have to deal with, and you may start doubting yourself and you may start wondering, well, probably this isn't my place. Well, it is, okay? It is, it's just it takes a bit of time to kick in or you to start kicking in. So that's, that's the whole point here, to give yourself a, a time. That is the whole thing in regards to the week. So let's let's run cards. Let's run the cards down one more time, and uh, we're gonna scrutinize them afterwards. So the first one, like we said, hangman for the topic, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges. Here we do have the two of wands. Then it is the positive aspect of the eight of swords. And the final one is going to be uh, the three of cups, which stands for the guidance. So, uh, Hangman, it's, uh, this card represents uh, simultaneously a, a test and a, a breakthrough as well, like we said back, uh, back in previous readings. Test, it is because uh, things are not going to run as smooth as you have expected. As a matter of fact, the Hangman almost always symbolizes a, uh, a delays, predicaments, troubles, you know, inability to decide where to go. As you can see, the, the man hangs upside down, symbol of, of its helplessness, 
to cope, you know, with the situation is almost like facing a wall, banging your head against it, uh, realizing that everything you do, it's futile unless you realize that right now you don't have to do anything. All right. That's the test. You just have to you just have to let go and do and or rather like allow the things to um, follow their natural course of events instead of you trying to alter uh, their outcome. That's that's the whole thing here. <clears throat> The accompanied card is going to be the uh, Hermit. So the formation is a, a passive friends that we do have. And uh, this week uh, itself, uh, it should be a week where you uh, of, of complete inactivity. Um, I would say it that way. Uh, that is for a reason being is because you will have to be um, well, you need to rely on your on your intelligence and your wisdom. This is how it stands. All right. The situation you're finding yourself at regarding your life, either career or either relationship, it does require a um, re-examination, right? And uh, it, this re-examination needs to happen based on your intelligence and your wisdom instead of your emotions. So you can identify the right move from now on, which is going to grant you a new direction, of course, in regards to either your career or in regards to either your marriage. So that being said, if you are uh, right now stagnated, you are facing your, you are finding yourself in a situation that seemingly there is no way out. Okay. That's not true. There is a way out. It's just, you're not seeing it right now or you're not comprehending on it right now. All right. And for that reason, and as the hang, as the hermit here suggests, that you need to seclude yourself for a couple of days, maybe for the whole week, that is. So you can think very carefully, you know, upon the situation and to, uh, like I said, exert your wisdom and your intelligence into it to take the most substantial move. Because after this stagnation lifts, then a, a very substantial uh, or rather like, yeah, you will have to focus on what is substantial for yourself, either marriage or either career that is. So don't lose hope. It is the whole point of the week, even if you are kind of like a, a stagnated and despondent at that very moment because your relationship isn't working out very well or you are facing predicaments into your career. That is the final test, should I say that way, of the universe to see, do you deserve what is um, laying further into the future as a benefits for yourself? Uh, the next card, it is the challenge here, and this is going to be the two of wands. So the challenge itself is you uh, finding a reasonable way how to grow from now on. That is simply what the two of wands points. You may, like I said, you may not be able to see a way out straight away of the current situation, meaning you may not see a way how you are to grow in your current um, in your current job. You may not see a way how you are to grow into your new founded relationship or how you are to make your marriage even better, you know, or how to attract more friends and etc, etc. And this is just the time. All right. Maybe something is happening in the sky with all the planets and all that. I'm not say astrologer, but right now the best thing you can do as the first couple of cards said, it's do nothing but, you know, think of um, what is, uh, what should be uh, the thing you need to make different. Because these two cards are pointing to a different, uh, different approach, different perspective. Okay. Until you not uh, adopt this different perspective, it's unfortunately all of your efforts are going to be rather futile. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Swords formation. It is a uh, active uh, friend. Uh, well, it's uh, it does point to aggression really and, and uh, desperate stray for dominance with these two cards. It is like you may think that the more aggressive you are and, and kind of like the more active you are, the better results you're going to get. But actually, according to the first couple of cards, you're going to get even worse results. Okay, it's just it's just as simple as that. So yeah, that's why I said at the start of the reading that it's going to be a bit rough because it, it, it's like this. You may feel that you have to do something while in reality, you don't, you don't have to do anything, but just, you know, wait your time to come around. It's just as simple as that. And while you're waiting your time to come around, you should 
structure you know your strategy how you are to take advantage of this new perspective that is to um, not new perspective but new direction because that is different perspective is when you are preparing yourself direction is when you are starting to exert yourself all right so when this substantial new goal of yours or rather like a new direction of yours is going to uh, is going to emerge but like I said it does require a, a certain change of vision or change of view or, or or all that which leads us to the third card guys which is the positive aspect of the week and that is the eight of swords so what is positive about the eight of swords the awareness of that the situation is as such as because you are um is because you are making it that way in reality long story short here it is that you do have limits because you have imposed those limits and now it's time to break down this wall of limitations it's not going to be easy and that's why you need to take your time all right but the positive aspect of the week is you can definitely bring down that wall of self-imposed obstructions of self-imposed limits that you are giving to yourself for example you may not believe that you can be a ceo of a company well you better believe it because you can't do it but it will require a different approach from the approach that you are taking right now okay maybe not that aggressive approach but more smarter and intelligent approach all right or maybe you lack the belief that you are going to end up marrying for the person that you like, all right? Well, you better drop off that belief because it is definitely possible with this card here if that is your situation, that is, you know? But instead of being aggressive and obsessive, you know, and jealous and all that because these two cards are speaking all about that and thinking that you can boss around the situation, maybe it's time to be more clever and more wise when it comes to performing into it, all right? The accompanied card here is going to be the seven of um, the seven of swords formation. It is a uh, active supporters. So uh, the seven of swords, it is as a contribution here to the eight of swords. It is just a um, acknowledgement that uh, you can definitely get what you uh, what you are going after or what you deserve. That is the point here, and no one can take it away from you unless you deprive yourself uh, from it like we said with those self-imposed uh, restrictions and those self-imposed uh, limitations for example and I, I will give example with myself right now even though i'm not aquarius all right so let's say that i like so much a a girl okay uh, but this girl likes to party a lot so we don't have a common ground unless I decide to go and party around with her, right? That is, I don't party at all, guys. It's just I don't like it. But that is self-imposed restriction, self-imposed limitation. And so instead of being stubborn and aggressive about it, trying to make her succumb to my ways, maybe it's time to be wise and to allow myself to think for a different for a different option available for example go to a few parties with her all right so that that is just a how the things could go and eventually with the seven of swords you are to reach a, a point where now you're gonna have the dominance over the situation and you are to dictate the rules of it but first you need to show a, a not resilience but versatility you know that you can follow other rules it's almost like before you give you have before you take you have to give something in return and then the last card that we do have is going to be about the guidance and we do have the three of cups so three of cups, first of all, points that should you break down your self, uh, self-imposed limits and should you start thinking outside of the box, the results are going to come almost instantaneously. I mean, uh, not a, a major and grand results. It is like, you know, you reach your goal, but definitely you are going to start seeing progress immediately afterwards. And that will force you being much happier than usual. I mean, hello, the, the, the people around you are going to be quite happy for you, that is because they're going to share your vision. Finally, they're going to say, wow, that person is really making a progress to get out of, of their way, you know, in order to achieve something. Even more of that is going to speak to the, to the goal that you do have, that you're ready and willing to do 
what it takes, you know, to, to have it. Because for you, that goal itself, either a person or a promotion or a success into a project, means everything. And that speaks a lot to your boss, to your supervisor, to the person that you are after, and etc. etc. The accompanied card here is going to be the the um the strength card formation, it is a passive enemies and that that just threatens the statement about the aggression and the temper, you know, temper and aggression, bad thing, you know, selfishness um, or yeah, bad thing as well. I uh, just try to approach whatever the situation is with understanding. And even if you can't understand it at the start, all right, uh, this is where your wisdom and your intelligence kick in to understand that people are different. And if you um, if you want to have any participation whatsoever in a cumulative goal or a cumulative experience, like in a project, like, you know, to be assigned on a promotion because that involves your boss as well. You know, you need to also start considering their uh, their needs and you need to start considering a, a way how the whole thing is going to be beneficial for both of you instead of being beneficial only for you. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for um, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.